First of all, can I start off by saying a, a big thank you to the President, Secretary, and the other board members of uh, CAM for um, having the confidence uh, in me to come to this team, to this country, um, and to apply my you know, expertise in trying to improve the cricket here in Nepal. I'm very happy to be here, I'm very happy to accept the challenge, and I do so with both eyes open. Um, also to the press for um, coming along in such great numbers to support this, um, that is appreciated, and it just gives me another indication of the way in which this sport is regarded in the country. Um, Nepal is um, or has got um, ODI status and it's our express aim to ensure that we retain that and improve the rating or the ranking as we go along. So um, I don't want to talk for too long but um, also to say that uh, I'm looking forward very much to working with um, the boys here in Nepal, some of which I do know and quite a few I don't. But that won't take long once um, you know working with some of these guys to understand um, certain principles that will need to, to happen to ensure that we have a very healthy um, environment within the group for performance. So with all my knowledge that I've accumulated over the years, uh, will surely be shared with that express purpose, and that was to improve performance individually and from a team point of view. So uh, it starts for me today, um, and the work will get more and more as we go along. And, uh, and from time to time, we look forward very much to working with, with you people as well to ensure that uh, you're kept in the loop, you know what we're doing, and uh, with a bit of luck, we'll support each other. Okay, I'm happy to answer any questions um, if you have any. Mike, what's again? Dave, welcome to Nepal. So, what was the um, what was the main motivation behind coming, choosing Nepal as a next destination, having gone across the globe in cricketing uh, world? What was the main motivation behind coming well, to Nepal? Well, I tell you what, every every job that I've had comes with a challenge, you know, and this also is uh, is no lesser challenge. This is not an easy position. Um, it's important for this country to be able to, uh, you know, to improve ranking. And regardless of a full member or associate member, um, the, the level of, um, of, of challenging is still there. So that always excites me. And that was a motivational factor in, uh, in coming to the national So, so I want to take you back to the time in 1996 when you were the head coach of Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka back then was new to the cricketing world and you guided them to the World Cup final, uh, World Cup title. So right now we cannot, I, I think we, realistically we cannot remove the World Cup title but getting into the World Cup is a dream for Nepalese people here. So how do you think, is, a, is that a great challenge or how do you think we can get there? What do you expect from the board to reach us to get to the dream? Well, the board um, will be supporting every way uh, they can humanly possibly do. But, um, you know, reaching um, a World Cup, um, senior World Cup level is, uh, is very difficult. A lot of countries are doing, are trying exactly what we're trying. So, you know, it's, a, it's as I said to you, it's a big challenge. Um, but uh, nevertheless, unless we dream, unless we really have um, aspirations to reach you know, high levels, then it's never going to happen. But each day, one at a time, one week at a time, one game at a time. I know you've heard that before, um, but that's the way it has to be. And um, as long as the boys um, have a really good grasp of, uh, of doing it for each other and working for each other, uh, you've got a chance. I, I can't promise you win every game, but. It, you know, there are certain things when you do, you give yourself a better chance of getting the right result. So last time you were here, you were here for a few days only. Uh, how did that uh, affect on your decision to come back to Nepal right now? 
Well, that, that wasn't the, the whole reason, but it's nice to reflect back and to know that you walk into a ground and you're not seeing it for the first time. Um, you see some familiar faces and that's also a good thing. So uh, it was really good to, um, to have a little bit of experience over, it was more than a few days, I think it was a week or so. Uh, that was um, really enjoyable. And now I have a chance, uh, you know, on a, on a full-time basis to work with the boys um, and to, you know, to get that enjoyment and, uh, and to see some results at the end of it. So how close have you been following Nepal after returning back from here and have you been following the Nepal's squad before you had an interest in this job? Yeah, from time to time for sure and uh, then very recently, uh, about uh, nearly 12 months ago, you probably know I used to have a small stint in Singapore uh, in a T20 tournament on the, I think it was the eastern uh, part of the, the Asia qualifiers uh, where we had, we did well. And Nepal was also in that uh, group, and uh, our game, which was the last one, was washed out. So we did we didn't play each other, but we certainly was there for many hours of the day. It was good to reunite with some of the boys. Um, but uh, it really, um, you know, was a uh, it was good to see them. And I've forgotten the question. So I want to say, I want to ask, how close have you been following before you oh, took right, the yeah. job? Yeah, not from time to time. I wouldn't say I've looked at the papers or the internet every day. Um, but certainly, um, you know, when I knew I was working in Singapore and Nepal was part of the group, then there was a little bit of digging up in history to have a look. Um, certain matches that Nepal played in one makes you sit up and take notice, like everyone else. So I wouldn't say every, you know, every week or whatever, but uh, there, were there, were there were instances when there was interest where you just dig a little bit deeper and have a look. So talking about the infield, uh, Nepal right now is going is on the way for a huge transition inside the field because a lot of experienced players, they are nearing the end of their career. So how big of a challenge it is to balance this uh, young and uh, experienced players to uh, bounce them up into a team? Well, that's a challenge also uh, will be made together with the selectors. You know, uh, they, they have a brief, they have a, a job, a very important job to do as well. And when it comes to senior players um, and junior players, well, it is always good to have a mix of both. Um, you know, to get rid of uh, a lot of experience in one hit is uh, not a good thing either. Uh, so we want, uh, we want players, regardless of the age, to be honest with you, if form is up, if form is good, you don't even worry about age, do you? So we need um, more than looking at how old they are to ensure that uh, all the work is done and performances are there. So you don't have to worry about that. As Mr. Packard mentioned, it was a great it was a great opportunity for Nepal to have you uh, in 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 the uh, in this position. So uh, you having worked around the world and your connections. So how can Nepal benefit from your portfolio? Well, as I said before. Um, that you accumulate a lot of knowledge as you go along and I've had 25 years of it um, and I'm very very happy more than happy to share everything in my head uh, with the players for one express purpose and that's to get better players get better performances uh, also you know, get better so that's what it is um, you know, there are uh, certain principles that work know what they are and we're going to try and apply them to the full cricket. So uh, in Nepal in recent times uh, the national camp uh, is comprised of only 25 or 26 players. So how do you go about selecting the team for the next tour or next tournament? That's for the job of the selectors as well. I mean I'm not a selector but I'm, I'm sure they'll have a good relationship with them. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's a job that we do together. So I'm looking forward to that and I'm sure that uh, the selectors also will be looking forward to ensuring that we get the best possible boys to, uh, to do the job. So Nepalese supporters, as you all know, are uh, famous all around the world. So how much, what are you expecting from the crowd and when we have home match, how much do you think that affects in the team performance? Well, I would assume that uh, that's like your 12th man. <laughs> I would assume that the, the noise and the crowd carry the team from time to time. So, um, you know, I've not witnessed it here before, but I've heard about it. 
Um, and I know that there is a big interest in the country. And for home matches, um, you know, no doubt there will be a lot of people supporting. And also I've seen evidence when the calls played away on television. And, uh, you know, there's ample evidence. There's a lot of Nepalese around the world who come and support them as well. So, you know, so support is there, particularly at home, when uh, that can really help you. So, so, on, sir. so, so, on, sir. so, 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 immediate challenges and your immediate plans. Thank you. Well, um, the immediate uh, job is to prepare a, a group of boys together uh, together with the, with the selectors that, uh, that we come up with, a group of guys that is able to, to win games. We are, our, our, our focus is to um, look a little bit further down the track to ensure that um, you know, the rankings can be improved if, if it's possible to do that. So, um, you know, we'll need a little bit of time, but um, our immediate goal, of course, is uh, the, the set of games in Omar, uh, which will be coming up, you know, fairly quickly. So um, we're well aware of that. But uh, it may, this answer may be the same as before, but it's, it's the way it is. It's, uh, that's what we need to do.